dreams. I have dreams like every other night of just me holding the baby, but from here and all you see is the head. So I'm like, I'm excited to just hold them. I hope to be able to breastfeed. I'm looking forward to the community, the mom community. So it's just gonna be fun to be a part of that community and you know, to learn and grow as a member now. <laughs> Candace Dillard Bassett is officially a member of the mom community, welcoming her first child with her husband, Chris. It's just been like kind of quietly just growing up fun. The Real Housewives of Potomac star shared her pregnancy news back in April. I am so ready to laugh with you for the rest of our breaths. It was almost like I kind of woke up and realized that I was never going to be 100% ready. I just had to leap and trust, you know, my family and my friends and trust the process and trust my doctors and stop being afraid and just do it. So once we decided together that we were gonna do that together, it just was kind of all moving by faith from there. Candace and Chris have been moving by faith since 2022. Bravo cameras capturing the beginning of their IVF journey. We are yes. freezing eggs. Embryos. Embryos. I can't stop at this moment. So I want to have that security of knowing I have some eggs in the freezer stored away for me when I'm ready to have kids. So we froze our embryos two years ago, just about, and you know, I think we were both kind of content to have them just sit there, you know, until my cutoff date. Right. I had five years at the time, four or five years at the time. I think I had seven years when you first told me that I had to do yeah, do it yeah. by the time he was 50. Right. So I was, I was kind of content, but then I just got the itch. And I always wondered, like, would I know? Would I, how would I know when I was ready? And I always felt like, a part of my anxiety was that I wasn't sure that I would know. And when I knew it was like undeniable. Something else that's undeniable, Candace being her little one's number one hype woman. I'm excited to just support them. In, it's like, I'm not an outdoor person. I'm not a sports person. I literally can only tell you when there's a touchdown happening. But if my kid wanted to play football, I would get like a big mosquito net and be outside like, it, you know, cheering and like yelling and like ready to fight the referee. So I'm just excited to like meet them. And it's so cool that you literally have no idea what you're getting. As for whether there are more babies in the couple's future. We do have another embryo in the freezer. I'm just kind of taking it day by day. Thankfully, I feel really blessed so far. You know, could we just find a wonderful surrogate for the second one? That's, that is on the table. That's an option that, that you know, some women have the, the, the luxury of entertaining. So we'll see. I just, I want, let me, let me pop one out and see how it feels. <laughs>